Hey guys, Tyler here from PBS Tuning. How are you going? It's been a little while since our last video. Um, so we've got our project BRZ, which we've been doing our turbo kit testing on. So uh, testing all the, all the, the SME uh, turbo kits. And we have done a first track day and the testing was going really well. Um, so now we have got our first customer, which um, this is the, the actual production kit of um, so all the testing we did on ours so this is a new production kit uh, and it's honestly it's it's fitted up awesome so uh, it's all supplied through race fix parts because they're our distributor it's got all the funk gear on it so it's got all the funk wrap funk beanie um, all that stuff we've got supplied through race fix we've opted to go injectors this this guy is uh, as much as the daily he does a heap of track days so I, from my testing, the injectors are a little bit of a, you're on, you're, you're pretty close on the, on the new turbo. You can do the turbo with um, stock injectors, but you've got to keep your boost really low. Where this guy is happy to run around the 230 mark, that's what he wants. We're going to try and do it on the stock clutch, because I know with our testing, we found the clutch did start to slip around the 240 or just above it start, was, you know, starting to go. So... Uh, but he did want to do injectors. He's not mucking around. He, look, if it's going to be an issue, he said do it. So we have, and look, so far so good. We've it started up nice and it's calibrated well, and I'm happy with the the initial startup tune side of things. So yeah, but honestly, the fitment's been fantastic. Even the bumper fits great. Uh, headlight squirters sometimes they can be an issue with some of the other kits and what have you. But look, it's been fantastic. So. Really, really happy. A little bit different in, in, in a few areas to the, to the old gen kit. There's a few more things we've got to do to make it all fit nice, but uh, honestly, really, really stoked. So we're gonna hit the dyno room um, where all the magic happens, and we're gonna see, uh, see how we go with this kit. But yeah, no, super excited. All right, guys. Um, so here we are, we've just done, um, finished, the, finished the tuning side of it, and luckily his clutch hung in there. I don't know how, but it did. But I'm, all the testing we've done, look, honestly, for, for, for eight and a half pound, the results are bang on what we've been testing, and it's spot on. Um, we've hit the 240 mark, you sort of want around the 230. Look, I'll be honest, it is a, a pretty cool, it is middle of winter, I guess, and it's, it is a cool, cool day, so it's um might be a little bit less on a, on a warmer day obviously but it is what it is like it, it came in with uh about 148 and it's gone out with about 242 so um the also the torque numbers are just around the 400 just over 400 newton meters as well so it's just off it's safe enough on the stock gearbox without being um without being too low in in torque once you start pushing up closer to the 450 mark you really start going into gearbox territory. So um, I'm gonna show you an E85 one we did on our car. It's um, yeah, pretty amazing. So you need a straight cut for that one, just let me tell you. Um, but yeah, look, honestly, the results are fantastic and it's super smooth. These, these new engines, these 2.4s are so linear, it's ridiculous. There's virtually no, there's no torque dips. The power just pulls right through to seven or over seven and uh, he's going to be absolutely over the moon. I was, yeah, I was really stoked with the, with everything that's going on with this kit. It's fantastic. So from, from start to finish, it's been an absolute dream and a drive that's going to be silky on the road. It's going to be fantastic. So, um, for, for those of you who are thinking about maybe if you want to go E85 on these, cause you're going to get a bit more like the old two liters were great on E85, the 2.4 is even better, but you're going to have to buy a gearbox. If I, uh, just bring up a, a little sheet here from from our car. We've been doing a bit of testing with it. And there you go. So I'll just move the cursor up just to show. Now this is a, I'm gonna show you the three different runs. Basically you've got standard right through to uh, turbo kit on 98 and turbo kit on 85. And this is pretty conservative too. We were starting to get a little bit close on fuel, but there's still more in it. So we've made 330 kilowatt um, and 545 Newton meters of torque. This thing's off its head on E85. So you really need a gearbox with this stuff. Honestly, it's, it's gonna get to that point where you're gonna break uh, gearboxes. It's okay on the dyno. Um, it's just, 
it's not loaded for enough. There's not a, not a, not, not a lot of undulating or you're banging off curbs, disturbing gearboxes or axles, so you can get away with it. But um, yeah, in a real life situation, you're gonna be snapping gearboxes. So as you can see, the lines, you've got standard, which is about around the 148, 150 mark. Then you've got 242 with a turbo kit on 98 and you're going up to 320 when you do the same kit on the 85. So as you can see, there's massive amounts of headroom on these things. If you've got the, uh, yeah, if you've got the, 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 the funds to, to, to go a gearbox and all that sort of stuff, you're gonna have a hell of a lot of fun with these cars. And this is, as I was saying, unopened engine, and we haven't even pushed this thing that hard yet. That was on about, uh, about 13 pound it peaked and it was just tapering off a little bit so i'll probably have to run a bigger wastegate spring to hold the boost nice but it was still tapering to about 10 10 and a half pound at the top end so if we could hold that at, a, at 12 or 13 psi honestly it would have made probably 340 so super fast so it's just a yeah really good testament to sme for their turbo uh turbo kits as 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 always they're doing a good job and um yeah, so if you're interested in one, uh, contact Racefix Parts. Uh, they've generally got a kit on the shelf at any one time, or they can get one pretty quick. So uh, by all means, or give the workshop a call and I'll run you through what you need. Uh, but honestly, if you're going to push a little bit more than that and you want to go a little bit harder on 98, I would suggest a clutch because he's right on the limit with this car. We were okay, we got away with it, but he, uh, he can't be too far away. So um that'll be his next uh next little upgrade but apart from that we haven't done an awful lot injectors turbo kit and that was it so super happy um all right well that's it for the moment we're going to do a little bit more testing with our car we're really going to see see how hard we can go with this thing uh we're going to get a, a gearbox in it and all the rest of it and um yeah see how we see how we go power wise so there you go turbo kit brz 2022 yeah stamp that one as success so Till next time, thanks for watching PVS Tuning. Hey guys, well, we thought you'd seen the dyno runs. We spoke about it in the workshop, but I thought uh, it was a little bit wet uh, when we were doing the, the video. So it's a nice dry day today. So I thought we'd go for a bit of a, a real life drive just so you can have a little bit of a, a listen and, and hopefully feel it through the, through the screen um, of what the, the turbo kit feels like. But honestly, super smooth, I'm able to get it um, yeah, it took a little bit of tuning with the injectors and stuff like that to get it nice, but now that we've um, yeah, now that we've mucked around with it on the dyno and what have you, it's um, yeah, the real the real drive is our first drive of it. It's really really good, really smooth. So I'll um, get out of this traffic and I'll find a little spot and we'll do a couple little uh, second third gear pulls. All right, so we'll give it a little bit of a um, a second and third gear pull. It's a bit hard to do right here, but. Give it a crack just so you can have a bit of a feel. We're going up here, mind you. Be wary of that. There you go. Pretty impressive. Not bad for uh, yeah, not bad for a stage one upgrade. So um, yeah, so if you've got any questions, by all means, give us a buzz at the workshop. If you want to talk about what we've done and the mods and and costings and things like that. Uh, if you're looking for availability on the kits, also you can call us or you can also reach out to Racefix Parts because they're the um, distributor for all the SME uh, turbo kits, headers, whatever SME products they're doing. Plus they do a whole bunch of other stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and um, yeah, see you next time.